Hello, good evening everybody. Welcome to Johnny Mac Games. And for those of you that are returning subscribers, welcome back and welcome to another New World video. So just a few minutes ago, the New World developers made a very, very exciting hyped announcement that they are gonna be releasing a public test server tomorrow. And on top of that, we are finally going to get our very first looks at the new weapon, the Void Gauntlet. Let's go ahead and take a look at this post. Super excited, announcing the public test realm. Uh, greetings adventurers. Our goal is to provide you with the best possible experience in Eternum. That means getting feedback and testing early and often, especially with our players that have provided phenomenal feedback and helped us track down a plethora of issues since launch. We have many new and exciting changes planned for the future of New World. And as part of that preparation, we'd like to introduce a new program, the New World Public Test Realm. So about this PTR, the Public Test Realm is a limited availability server set that will give players an early look at upcoming features. These preview builds are snapshots of upcoming major updates and are not final versions. You may encounter bugs, crashes, missing text, or other issues. Between our internal testing efforts and your feedback, we hope to catch and resolve all serious issues before they reach the live servers. Hundreds of changes have been made and the full release notes will be shared on release day. To help with the feedback process, all newly created characters on these worlds will have the opportunity to instantly level to select level ranges outfitted with appropriate gear and items. By the end of today, everyone with a copy of New World will find the New World Public Test Realm application in their Steam library. Downloading this standalone application allows interested players access to check out the latest preview version and provide feedback. PTR servers will officially open tomorrow, November 10th at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Servers are limited at the start. There will be one world available in US East and one world available in Central Europe. When the test period is complete and the main new world game is updated with the previewed content, all worlds will shut down and be wiped clean. You will still <coughs> you will still see the new world PTR application in your Steam library, but there will not be active servers until the next time we announce a test. If you encounter a bug, exploit, or have suggestions to improve a feature or piece of content, We'd love to hear your feedback on our new PTR sub forum. You can also utilize our in-game feedback tool. We will do our best to address as much of your feedback as possible before the content update makes its way to our live servers. Your participation will help us to deliver awesome content and updates in the future. During this iteration of the PTR, we would appreciate feedback on the following subjects. New weapon, void gauntlet. The Void Gauntlet has manifested in Eternum. Manipulate the powers of the Void to support your allies and debilitate your enemies with this magical DPS support hybrid. It's the first weapon to scale on both intelligence and focus, making a great pairing with the Life Staff and other magical weapons. The Annihilation Tree focuses on maximizing damage at close range and revolves around Void Blade, a summon blade of corrosive void energy. The decay tree offers ranged healing and debuffs and revolves around Orb of Decay, a dual phase projectile that can debuff enemies and heal allies. With its arsenal of buffs and debuffs, the Void Gauntlet is perfect for group combat and significantly bolster your allies at the expense of your enemies. So really what it kind of sounds like, sounds like the Void Gauntlet kind of gives you a like red mage play style if you're familiar with final fantasy 14 that is pretty exciting and i cannot wait hopefully you know i'll apply and uh hopefully we'll get get accepted and we'll do some testing that'd be pretty exciting uh new missions and mobs this is a greatly anticipated uh thing in new world that has been a huge complaint is you know the mob diversity uh in the game so this is definitely welcome uh, new enemy type. New dangers have landed on our southern shores. The Varangan raiders have sailed down from the north and brutally carved out sections of each territory to establish a base of operations. From war camps on the breaches of First Light and Monarch's Bluff to an entire fort they've captured in Everfall. 
face off against fierce Varangian Cures, Varangian Scouts, and Varangian Knights, and Varangian Archers. Level range from 16 to 20 as you ascertain their true intentions. Enemy variety. Reinforcements have arrived. Be on the lookout for new enemies scattered across the tournament, such as the Withered Swarmancer, Beetle, the Lost Shaman, Pirate Alligator, Ancient Guardian, Pyromancer, and Enhanced Corrupted Laborers. These additions will bring unique combat encounters to our low level open world experience. So that's very, you know, that's pretty reassuring and refreshing. Get some new enemy types in there, which is awesome. Uh, new enemy quest. What brings these new and ruthless visitors to our shores? Seek out Abigail Rose in the wilds of Western Everfall to get started on one of two new quests available, which deal with the arrival of the Varangians. While their motives for coming south may remain a mystery, one thing seems clear. This is just an ex or expeditionary force. More will come. So, neat little piece of, uh, I guess you would say, lore to a certain degree. Uh, foreshadowing of things to come. So this is pretty interesting. New legendary weapon quests. Alongside the release of the Void Gauntlet, we're also releasing a new legendary weapon quest series. Upon reaching level 60 and maximum skill level with the Void Gauntlet, players should seek out Antiquarian Abington in Reekwater to start this epic endeavor. Note that you'll need to have completed Magicky's uh, Stratagem in Shattered Mountain and Legatus Fulvius's quest series in Reekwater to qualify. Uh, improved main storyline quests. Quests in the main storyline have been improved with new task types and quest variants, including wave events, destructible objects, and proximity nodes for tracking. You'll see some of these as you progress through the story, and more improvements are still on the way. New PvP faction missions. Thank God. Our goal is to add more variety for PvP players and to create a balanced experience for players highly engaged with territory control. Three brand new PvP faction mission types have been added. In addition, almost all PvP missions now reset on death rather than being forfeited. Note that poached missions have been removed for a better directed set of PvP missions. They are gonna be adding control points. These missions send you out to capture control of forts. Intercept, defeat enemy faction members and collect their tiers. War camp loot, retrieve hidden plans at the enemy war camp. So that's pretty nice. I definitely am all behind that. New trading post experience. And this is what I just released a video on today. Uh, I'll leave a link or sorry, leave a little card up there and probably a link down in the description below. Uh, trading posts update. All trading posts have been linked and are now unified. You can buy and sell the same results from any trading post in the world. Fees for buy and sell orders are defined by the settlement that you're posting them from. Additionally, transaction taxes on purchases you make are defined by the settlement in which you are making the purchase from. Items listed in sell orders that expire return to the settlement from which they were posted from. So basically, we're going to have a little bit of deflation, guys. It's 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 inevitable. It's going to happen. So we're just going to have to roll the punches. Not much can be said about that. Um, we think this is an exciting opportunity to collaborate more closely with you, and we look forward to working with you all on improving New World. Thank you so much for your participation. Uh, and so here's the PTR frequently asked questions. How do I access the new PTR? Everyone with a copy of New World will be automatically granted access to the secondary PTR app. The PTR is not compatible with the live game, so you will need to download a separate client and have the hard drive space required to support it, of course. From there, you will have special worlds available within supported regions. Not all regions will initially be supported. Access on a first come, first serve basis, and there may be queues. <laughs> there may be queues. I can almost guarantee you there's gonna be queues. Can I play with or transfer my live characters to the PTR? Unfortunately, no, they're, <clears throat> these are separate ecosystems, so at this time it is not possible. However, to make testing easier, we will occasionally provide our playtesters with special accommodations such as instant levels, special gear, etc. Can I provide design feedback regarding what's included on the PTR? 
Preview game builds on the PTR are finished with their core development and are in their final phase of testing and bug fixing. Our main focus at this phase is improving quality, although we will appreciate any feedback you have to share. I have a problem. How can I contact customer support? Our policies and code of conduct cover the PTR and in-game moderation will continue to be supported. Unfortunately, due to the temporary and potentially unstable nature of the PTR, general customer service assistance through both live chat and through the support website will not be available. So, you know, it's a PTR, guys. <laughs> if you if you get, you know, if you find yourself in some weird situation that, you know, it's like, they're basically saying, sorry, you know, flash unstuck or, you know, just power your client down. <laughs> I mean, it's PTR, it's gonna be full of bugs. And that's that's the idea about taking, uh, you know, participating in a PTR is that there's potential for bugs and crashes and stuff like that. And, you know, essentially you're volunteering your time to provide testing for that. So I'm okay with that. I will definitely be participating as long as I don't have to sit in queue for a bazillion years. Um, I don't want to participate in the PTR. Can I remove the app from my library? Don't worry, no offense taken. Players can manage visibility of the New World Public Test Realm Steam Library entry, opening up the game options, right click, and then manage offers the hide game function. Thanks for your support and participation. We'll see you in a tournament. So that's it, guys. Pretty fantastic news. Super, super excited. Been a heck of a day as far as, you know, the new world content at least on this channel and uh i cannot wait to get into the void gauntlet i'm hoping that maybe i can get into the public test server get some of that information for you guys as to what the skill trees look like and so forth it does not look as though that it is under nda because it is open to the general public there's no special application or anything like that you just download the client sign in and hopefully you can get in through the queue if there is one which i'm sure there will be so that's pretty awesome so make sure that you guys hit that subscribe get a like on this video and uh, stay tuned to the channel for more i will definitely be trying to bring that information to you as soon as i possibly can and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the new world